You won't believe it. What did the Bank of Canada just do? They reduced the rate. Holy smokes. You know what? It's been a long time coming. And does this mean everything is going to be clear sailing? You know what? I got to tell you, I don't think that we should jump too far ahead. Listen, 4.75 is a heck of a lot better than 5. I know it's only a quarter point. But what it does tell us is that we can start trending in the right direction. We have to undo all of the increases that have happened over the last two years. You know, I got to tell you, Tiff Macklin still remains kind of conservative on this whole entire approach to the fact that he said, hey, listen, if inflation continues to ease, our confidence that it is headed in the right sustainable direction, it's reasonable to expect further cuts. Oh, come on, Tiff. Can't you give us a little bit more? Yeah, I know. You just gave us a taste of what we deserve, which is a quarter point. And Look, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth because, quite frankly, we've all been sitting there waiting with bated breath, hoping each, every single monetary meeting was going to give us that quarter point. Finally, it happened. So, what's going to happen to the world markets? Guess what? Not a whole lot. What's going to happen to the real estate market? Not a whole lot. The one thing Tiff kept saying was, is if I reduce interest rates, he doesn't want to run on real estate. Look, a quarter point for most of you isn't going to, you know, kill you one way or the other. So I don't think everybody's going to be rushing right now. I mean, I, you know, I don't think the real estate agent's offices, phone's ringing off the hook. Let's buy, 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 buy. It's not one of those, okay? The truth is, is that I think what it's going to do is let everybody take a big breath in, exhale and say, look, they're not going to continue to screw us. They're going in the right direction. And so for now, a quarter point reduction means a lot to you and I, more from the mindset of what the Bank of Canada is thinking. Now, of course, the U.S. Fed, they've got a situation on their hands where they're not willing to move their rates, but there's over 63 banks right now teetering on going under in the U.S., so the U.S. is going to have to start rethinking their policy. Good on Tiff Macklin from separating himself from the U.S. Hey, if our Canadian dollar takes a bit of a hit, that's going to happen, okay? It's done it in the past. It'll do it in the future. But here's good news. The Bank of Canada, finally, something we weren't going to predict happening today, has finally done it. They moved down by a quarter of a point. Hey, listen, love to hear your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. I want to know what you're thinking. How low can they go? Hey, listen, they're not going to go back to pandemic times, but I'll tell you, we should start seeing more decreases in the future. Thanks for tuning in.